Award season for the movie. There's a lot of talk, of course, about surprising nominations and who got snubbed, at least when it comes to the Academy Awards. So for us, no award season is complete without the annual Cookie Awards. And of course, we're referring to Linda Cook, and she's here with her take on the best the big screen had to offer over the last year. Good to see you. Good to see you. You had me a cookie, by the way. Thank you, and thanks for letting me talk about these mostly unseen movies that got under the radar but deserve some accolades. Yeah, and you have different categories. This I is do. the typical stuff that we talk about. We talk about only only films here as well. Exactly. They have their own specified category. From 2023. Different cookies. All of them. Mm -hmm. Not just chocolate chip, not just walnuts, you know, that kind of thing. A variety of flavors. There you go. That's what's hip these days. Starting with a little violence with Sisu, which I found to be the best adventure film. It's about a prospector who just wants to gather his gold nuggets and take them to the bank, but he runs into some soldiers who decide they want his treasure. <laughs> Violence ensues. And that's adventure. Of course, all these films, I assume, are four stars on your rating, yes. right? Yes. All right, so yes. your next category is Best Ensemble Piece. Now, this is a disturbing movie called Saltburn. It's about a young man who goes to an Ivy League school and finds himself obsessed with another student there. When he goes to the student's home to stay with his family, all kinds of things happen. And believe me when I tell you, this is not for the kids, not for the nervous, but it is very smart and unexpected. I did see that one. Your best comedy is another one? Yes. You Hurt My Feelings. And Julia Louis-Dreyfus comes back in a very Seinfeld-like comedy about a woman who hears her husband being honest about the draft of her novel. Does she ever believe what he says mm. again? All right, best science fiction movie. And a comedy at that. Really? Jules, yes. Two, is, that's a twofer then. That's right. It's And it's very enjoyable. It's about um, I will say people of an age, a man who is facing the prospect of dementia, sees a flying saucer land in his yard. Who does he tell who will believe him? None other than Jane Curtin from Saturday Night Live. Sci-fi, Conehead's fame as well. Okay, so you have another interesting category because it's a category that can't be categorized. Uncategorizable film, hard to say. It really is. All of Us Strangers is a dark look at a kind of romance, uh, an isolated man uh, finds himself falling in love with another man who is his neighbor. But the relationship isn't quite what it seems to be. You have to open your mind for this one, but it's really, really good, very striking. I know you're a big fan of documentaries. Absolutely. And two of my favorites this year are Beyond Utopia, which um, gives us a look at how people try to escape North Korea, and another one about an animal, the Florida panther, that is being preserved through very, very careful conservation attempts, and why that's important. Okay, fantastic. Now, animated feature, this is usually a very popular category among fans. Right, but this one just, again, flew under the radar. The Inventor is about the last years of Leonardo da Vinci, and it is stunning, glorious music, and the characters, as you can see here, are really cute. They're like the old Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer characters we grew up with. Can we get through the last few quickly? Most disturbing drama. Oh, that one is Palm Trees and Power Lines, mm -hmm. and it's about a young girl approached by an older man. Okay, and you have a biggest surprise? Well, a big surprise is Godzilla, right? Well, that's and big. <laughs> that one's in theaters right now in the black and white version of the film. I saw in color, fabulous movie with, with uh, adventure and and battle scenes, and of course, Godzilla. And best family film is another one. Inspector Sun, which is CGI animation. It's about a bumbling spider detective. Okay, and okay, now best picture. This is all, all the whole kit and caboodle here. Absolutely. And it's, it's not Oppenheimer. A Thousand and One, which is about a woman who's gotten out of prison and seeks her young son to build a life, maybe, together. It is Brilliant. Why is it better than all the rest? Because it is so well written, so well acted, and it came out of nowhere. And people can find this somehow, somewhere? Streaming. Streaming That's services. That's the one option. Mm -hmm. Linda Cook and her Cookie Awards. Always great to talk to you. And of course, you can find the details about her Cookie Awards online at ArquaCities.com.